moles to calcium. When you need calcium, your teeth are bad. We find the bones begin to break down. Arthritis begins to settle in the body. And we get our arth atherosclerosis, and we get arteriosclerosis, hardening in the arteries. When this calcium gets settled in the body, we may need it, but there are other things now that may keep it in solution. Sometimes it comes out in a knob. Sometimes it comes out in the joints, causing a hardening there in that body. Now, I, I'm just bringing this thing out because people don't realize that this chemical element, only one out of them, out of the 16, and a few of them I'm going to mention here now for you and to show you the value that's in these chemicals. We talk about calcium. Now, you should ask me, where do we get it? Where do they come from? Huh? Did you know that calcium is found possibly highest in our milk products? And yet again, so many people say, you can't take milk. You can't use milk. And I cut out a lot of milk when I was having a lot of trouble when I was younger, thinking it produced a lot of catarrhal conditions and so forth. So we get people that start giving up milk and start giving up all of these problems that we have. And uh, the first thing you know is that we are developing a dis-ease. This comes to the place now when I tell you most disease is a sign of a shortage of some chemical element in your body. Just hear that and measure it and go along with me as I go along. Now, calcium is found a lot in the, in the, in the seeds and in the nuts and in grains. It's found very high in grains. And this is something that we need in our diets. However, you don't realize that probably when we get refined grains, that sometimes we lose as much as 25% of the calcium in a refined grain. Are you treating yourself right? A half a loaf of bread? What kind of a body you're going to make? You're not going to make a whole body. And we're going into some more diet in, as we go along here and to bring this thing out. Calcium is so necessary. I think it's one of the number one uh, chemical elements that we need in the body. Now we have another one. It's called sodium. Sodium, what do you suppose it's called? It's called the youth element. Who doesn't want to have youth? And we find Dr. Koning over in Germany, one of the great chemists of the past, found in, in, uh, in taking care of people that had passed away, found that sodium was stored in the stomach wall more than any other organ in the body. He found that sodium was stored in the highest, the second highest organ, that's in the joints, that was in the joints. And in calling it the youth element, we found out your digestion is bad when you don't have enough of that sodium. And what do you do? You go out and buy bicarbonate of soda. Huh? Everybody wants soda to neutralize these acids in the body. Now, I want to come to this now and very shortly and show you that there's a sodium, sodium, and a sodium. Hmm? There's different kinds. You can't use this kind of a sodium. I call it drug sodium or a chemical sodium. You can't use that. I'm interested in food sodium. This is, a, this is a lecture now on the proper nutrition for your body with all the chemical elements that you must have in order to have a good body. It's not just a raw diet. It's just not a juice diet. It's just not on one kind of food because it's a natural food. It must have the chemical elements. Otherwise, some system in your body is going to starve. It's going to starve to death. We find that sodium called the youth element. It is the element that's also stored here in the joints. It keeps you young and active and youthful, limber, pliable. What a lovely thing to think that a chemical in the ground can be used to keep us young. Do you know I visited probably more old men than anyone else I know of in this world? And we find in going to all these people, I have never found an old man with stiff joints. They're all working out there in the fields, eight hours a day after they're 100 years of age. The last man I saw, Mr. Gassanoff, 153 years of age. He come in on horseback. The average person can't even get on a horse anymore when they're 60 years of age. And we find out they're still working in the field. And they had a limberness in these joints, and it's something for us to think about. Well, there was a little secret I saw over there 
that was very unusual. They didn't drink milk like we drink milk. They made a clabber milk. They made a, a milk like a yogurt. And they had this here, what they call this, they could spoon the milk, you know what I mean? Curdle it out so they could use it in that way. And the funny thing it is, I'd like